Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, this is a follow-up to our OTC video from a couple of days ago. It's popping up in the right-hand corner of your screen. Take a look at it if you didn't watch it. But basically what it was, we talked about the letter back in April, TD Ameritrade sent out, talking about the caveat enter status, saying you have a certain stock on this list, then you can only liquidate the stock on their platform. You can no longer buy it, okay? And uh, the reason I'm making a uh, follow-up video is because TD Ameritrade recently just released a new uh, form in regards to the SEC Rule 15C211 Restricted Securities, which basically says that basically what I just said there is starting at a certain date, uh, these stocks that are on this list, if they don't meet certain qualifications, you can only liquidate, meaning trying to sell, but you cannot buy any of those shares on this platform, okay, which makes it harder for you to get rid of them if you'd like to, because it basically takes away a whole platform of where people can buy them from, if that makes sense, all right? So, the um, reason I'm making, again, a follow-up video, one of our stocks that we follow is on this list, but we're going to talk about why they're on there, what they plan to do getting off, and I'm going to give you a couple of uh, different scenarios of what you can do to kind of protect yourself on this stock. So here we go. So on September 28th, 2021, new amendments to Rule 15C211 under the Security Exchange Act of 1934 go into effect to enhance investor protection and improve issuer transparency. These amendments restrict the ability of market makers to publish quotations for other companies that have not made required current financial and company information available to regulators and investors. So basically, if you've not uh, filed your financials within a certain two year, you know, over in about a two year period, and you're not current, then basically what they're saying is um, they're going to put restrictions on your stock. And some of these stocks that you see are actually going to be delisted, gone, poof, bye bye. Okay. Ahead of the regulatory enforcement date, TD Ameritrade will only accept orders to liquidate these positions. In example, no new buy orders starting on or after September 3rd. Please note, after this amendment officially goes into effect on September the 28th, it may be more difficult to liquidate these securities. Quoting and market liquidity may also be very limited. This list below as of August 23rd, 2021, and is subject to change at any time. Okay, so uh, we're going to go down. We're going to look at the stock. Obviously, it is hemp because that's the stock that um, is in the thumbnail. That's why you clicked on it. It's in the title. Okay, so we're going to go down. Uh, everything else is good. We don't have any of the other um, stocks that we talk about. Not treat, not triple ENF, not ZNOG, not IQST. None of those are on this uh, this list here. But I do want to show you that hemp is on this list. I believe it's the next page over. You see, it's a very very huge list. So here's hemp, hemp incorporated. Okay. Now, here's what happened immediately when I saw this. I went to hempinc.com and I went to the contact uh, contact us section. If you go over to hempinc.com, which is listed in the description below, go to contact and you just go down, you fill out this form here, okay? I immediately got on here, put my name and information in and if you keep up with the channel, you know that I've talked to them about a month, a month and a half ago about this particular situation and they told me, we have everything in place. All of our filings are in. We're waiting on the attorney letter, and then that's going to be make everything current. All right. So I emailed them and let them know that I saw their name on the list. What are you going to do to get off of it? Within two minutes, I get a phone call, and they um, they reiterated. They said, "Okay, just to you know, just to let you know, like all, all, basically what I just said, the list is for people who are not fully current or who have not filed their financial documents within a two-year period." And if they do not get current by the deadline of September 27th, then they're going to be delisted or restricted. And basically what it says here, this goes into effect on the 28th. You have until the 27th to make it right. So um, I asked him, so how do I know that you, you, know, you guys are up to date? He says, well, he encouraged me. He says, go to otcmarkets.com, which is the website that we talked about uh, the other day in the other video. And he says, look at filings and disclosures. I said, okay, I'm there. And he says, if you see that all of our filings are um, are listed on there, say so yes, I do. And he says, okay, do you see the attorney attorney opinion letter on the sixth of August? I said, yes, I do. He says, okay, now we're just waiting. Um, 
we're waiting on our another our, our other letter to come through and be finalized and finished and then that's the icing on the cake that'll take us off of the list i said okay so basically uh, this attorney letter was i guess for the annual report and then now for the quarterly reports and all these other things here um you see that basically what happened was they filed they filed the uh they had the filings then they had an amendment for all three of these here so they had to get another attorney letter and that's in the process of getting done they have until the 27th of september to get that in and get that done so i'm going to be checking this every couple of days so once we see attorney let uh, attorney opinion letter on here at the very top then they should be good and they should be taken off of that list but as of now they are on that list okay so what to know moving forward in your options so as of september 3rd again you won't be able to buy anymore until they get taken off you can only liquidate however this is going to make it a lot harder to liquidate and sell so what you can expect in my opinion this stock to do is to tank over the next couple of days out of panic okay and out of fear so uh your your options are this and i'll tell you what i'm doing so your options you could either, you know, at the market open tomorrow, get rid of it and and just sit back and wait to see if they get taken off of the list. And if they get taken off of the list late September, you could always get back in potentially at a cheaper price and, you know, hold for your longer term positions. Um, or you can just kind of ride it out and just see what happens. It all depends. It's a personal choice for yourself. How much money do you have invested? Um, you know, do you want to potentially lose more money? Well, that's up to you okay what I'm doing now that I actually know um, that they, they actually had the letter submitted it just hasn't been finalized and they're planning that it's gonna actually get taken off then I feel pretty good about holding on to it because I don't have a crazy amount of money invested into this company but that's the risk that I'm willing to take at this point um, you know we'll have to just kind of wait it out and see exactly how it plays out tomorrow so if I see it take a huge dump then eh, maybe maybe i'll, I'll <laughs> i can sell and just always get back in once i see that so that's just a, a thing that you're going to have to figure out do you want to wait it out and take a chance on them or do you want to get out now and then when you see that they make it right get back in that may be the safer option so i just wanted to give you a quick update on that there's no other stocks that we talk about on the channel in the otc market that is on this list that is a good thing but basically what happened with them is they filed uh, late on one of their on one of their filings. They came in late, so they had to, um, I guess that kind of got their attention. Then they had to do amendments on these three. And again, we're just waiting on this attorney opinion letter, which is due on September the 27th. However, uh, they feel pretty confident that they are going to be able to knock that out and get it current and taken off of the list. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.